this narrative uh, that tries to separate randomized trials from, let's say, observational trials. But I think this this narrative also implicitly uh, often tries to convince us that randomized trials do not require any assumptions. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's this. There's a tendency in any field, and it's like we see this all the time on on uh, social media, right? We're on, in like quote unquote technical bubbles in social media. We there's a lot of science and a lot of theoretical posts and things like that. But I think there's this tendency in all this this discussion to try to simplify things for people, maybe sometimes to the detriment. Like you said, oh, we th there's an oversimplification of separating randomized trial and observational studies, but these these simplifications are they make for better messages, they make things easier, and we we t tend to see this simplification as a sort of like eureka moment, like oh, if only I have this part in my study, then I don't need to worry about anything else. If only I randomize, then everything falls into place and I, I, I won't make a mistake. But reality is a lot more complex than that. And uh, the, the, the dream to push a button and the other, all the results come out perfect is still far from, from a reality. But I, th I think we're tempted by this simplicity uh, sometimes as teachers, but also as learners or consumers of information where we, our mind likes to oversimplify things. So I, I think that would explain at least part of it.